In your report, you get a, an overview of each of the five uh, fatty acid groups. We have omega-3 fatty acids, omega-6 fatty acids, cis monounsaturated fatty acids, saturated fatty acids, and trans fatty acids. And so we've talked a lot about the omega-3 fatty acids in the omega-3 basic video. Um, the omega-6 fatty acids, um, there are a couple of interesting ones that we are focused on that I can highlight. Um, the first is linoleic um, acid. And this is the uh, parent essential omega-6 fatty acid that is in a lot of our oils. It's in safflower oil and sunflower oil, and also in nuts and seeds. So you can get linoleic acid from more unhealthy sources like in processed foods or you can get it from healthier sources like nuts and seeds. Blood levels of linoleic acid are um, a bit controversial because we've seen recently in uh, several different um, large studies that higher levels of linoleic acid actually predict better outcomes for heart health and diabetes. And so with that information um, it doesn't doesn't work well with the idea that all omega-6s are, are bad. And so this is where we think looking at the whole profile and having all the fatty acids really gives us an advantage because we can um, identify maybe a certain omega-6 fatty acid is worse than another omega-6 fatty acid. Each individual fatty acid plays a role in the body, is there for a reason, and shouldn't necessarily be considered good or bad with the exception of trans fats. Those are probably just bad and can go away. 